Oh, hello there and welcome back to my channel! My name is Georgina and I am the Honest Vocal Coach. If you're new to my channel, I am a vocal coach. I've been teaching voice now for 20 years and I do lots of reactions to different types of voices and give you my opinion on what's good and what's not, including all of the technical sort of aspects as well. At the moment, I'm going through all of the Eurovision songs and I've got seven... Hang on. Seven left to do. Seven. I've had a bit of a meltdown this morning, actually, before I dive into this. I'm fed up of my background. It just looked so messy and so annoying, and the same blue gamer background, it just frustrated the heck out of me. So, I've had a little bit of a change round. I've still got some more to do. I've changed the colour, we're now purple. Blue tends to work better for colour tone, but I thought we'll go for purple to go with the outfit. I've also put some plants and sort of stuff up there to make it look a bit prettier. I think I just need some lights now within the shelves to make it look even better. So that's the next thing on my list. I'm going to be looking at some more Eurovision. So this is Portugal's entry. Uh, the song is called A Caracho uh, and it's Mimi Cat. Uh, and I'm desperate to get through these final seven so I can have a look at who I think is going to qualify for the semi-final one and two. So let's dive in. Uh, feels very cabaret straight away with the piano. Anyway, I'll shut up. Let, let's watch. Oh, it does feel very kind of cabaret style. Great amount of technique vocally. So we've got a nice vibrato there, a little bit of vocal fry, also a slight lift into the soft palate, and it's got like a sexy feel to it. Okay, I'm not really sure where it's going at the minute. The vocal seems really tight on that change as it sort of hits the chorus and then there's a slight change, it suddenly becomes quite tight and like, I don't know, the, the, the resonant isn't, resonance is not as good. Um, but before we go any further, I really feel like it's one of those moments I have to look at the lyrics because I don't actually know what we're singing about, not really got a clue right now. So Portugal. Okay, here we go. So, oh heart, that won't let me be. You won't give me peace, you leave me unfit. My head and throat are circling around that won't undo itself, but you feel no sympathy. I feel dizzy and worse every day. I don't know things that I used to know. My pulse is racing like mad. I feel crazy, totally senile. Okay, not sure that the translations work there, but senile tends to mean kind of losing your mind a little bit as an old person in the UK, which is a slight difference. Uh, my chest is burning, my mouth is dry, I don't know what to do. Love, I can't do like this because I don't even feel like myself. Oh heart, oh heart, tell me if you are mine. I'm still not entirely sure what we're saying about. Uh, my chest is burning, my mouth is dry, I don't know what to do. Love, I can't do it like this because I don't even feel like myself. Oh heart. The doc so second verse, the doctor says there's nothing to be done. Lost cause, I saw him writing. I'm lost in another dimension and now I'm a huge mess. Hours go by, I can't sleep. I hear the owls of my neighbours too. My mind is gone and it got lost in there. Somebody please snap me out of this. Snap me out of what? It's some kind of love spiral circle something so if anybody knows anymore please do let me know 
don't speak. Actually, I've got a really good friend from Portugal. I'll ask him. Pedro, if you're watching, uh, I'll message you later. You can tell me what's going off. Right then, let's continue. <laughs> got a bit of a Spanish flair to it now as well which is obviously the sort of Portuguese kind of elephant elephant element within the song sorry elephant These molasses, <laughs> It's quite catchy. I think this could grow on me quite a lot. Again, we need some quickie dance routines. Yes, bring it on. Love it. The guy's just leaping over the sofa, you know, because that's, that's what you do. There's like a tension in her vocal where she doesn't allow the resonance to just ring out. I don't know if it's a style thing. Um, I, d I don't know. Ooh, I like the slow down moment. It's quite heavy on the backing vocals, lots of oohs and all sorts going on. Really kind of lifting up that main vocal. Ooh, nice bit of head voice, slightly out of tune there though. Not sure on that head voice moment on the bridge there. It did sound flat in a couple of moments. But you know, we've got time before the finals, so I'm sure she's got a bit more time to rehearse it. I could have sung. I could have sung. I could have sung. I could have sung. These molasses. I don't know about this one. There's not an awful lot going on lyrically. I'm not kind of getting the concept, if I'm completely honest. It's a fun song. I like the the whole Spanish element to it, the flamenco within it. The outfits are pretty fun. The, the little dance routine's quite quirky. But it's not grabbed me. So maybe it will. Maybe it's a grower. Maybe I'll get it a little bit more as time goes on. I thought the vocals were all right. You know, she did the majority of it pretty well, but there were some areas where I felt she was out of breath and a few moments where it was a little bit flat and also tight. I felt like that there was so much more she could have given in terms of resonance, but it was just kind of too contained for me. Anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.